Kenya campaign team led by party leaders Moses Wetangula pitched cap in Kitutu Church's South constituency in Kisi South and held roadshows in different market centres, asking locals to re-elect Honorable Richard Onyonka as the area member of parliament. Richard Onyonka is facing six candidates in a battle of his life in his quest to retain the parliamentary seat he has held for two terms. The election was put off after a Jubilee candidate died in an accident in the run-up to the August 8th elections. Tasisi kama wananasa tayari tumepata habari kutoka Sava ya Safron kule Ufaranza. Kura iliyopigwa ni milioni tano na elf na tano salasini na tano peka yaki. Uhura alitoa wapi kura milioni saba. Sisi wananasa tuko international. Hata wakipanga usiku tunaona. Wakipanga juu ya miti tunaona. Wakipanga chini ya ardhi tunaona. Nimetembea kila mahali. And I have no doubt that Richard Onyonga is going to win this elections by landslide. Makofi kwake. Kama jubili na leta pesa hapa, mwerarue pesa bila kupoteza wakati. Mwerarue kabisa. Sawa sawa. Lakini sifu ya kura ikifika, pikia yeye kura. It is set to be held this Tuesday. Our reporter Fred Muturi is following on the happenings in the area. Now joins us live for an update. Fred, what is happening on the ground in terms of preparations for this election? Uh, thank you so much. I'm coming to you live from Kitutu Church constituency, and we have, we have today is the final day for the final campaign period, and we can see that most aspirants are trying to do their best being the final period, doing door-to-door -door campaign, some are going to the church. And we can see that these elections was, was really of, overshadowed by the repeat poll that happened by, happened the other time, the presidential repeat poll. And I can, as I'm speaking now, I'm joined by some of the aspirants, but more especially from the ODM, ODM party. With me here is Samuel Omwando, an aspirant who's going to take his, 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 his vote uh, come Tuesday next week. Hey, Wano Mwando, uh, we are live on KT News. How are you prepared for these elections? Oh, it has been a long journey to this day, but we have been able to be here. And the electorate have a choice to make between us seven. From the ODM, it is me, Samuel Yomwando, and uh, there are the others from other parties. But from the affiliate parties of NASA, we are six, uh, five. And I'm, I'm uh, live to the occasion that uh, one of the aspirants, Richard Momonyonga, was claiming with his party leader the other day, yesterday, that we have stepped down for him. I think he's uh, too scared to face us on, uh, on uh, the 7th. I want to encourage my brother. He's been in the game. I've been in the game. He knows me. Let him not be scared with me. The electorate will make a decision. Whichever the decision, let him live with it. We can see that the, the, the elections, the elections were, were overshadowed, were overshadowed by the repeat poll that happened last time. Yes. Uh, do you think it will affect your, your campaigns? No, it is not affected because we are known names. Omwando is a known name. Richard Onyonka is a known name. Only that is too scared is going uh, to apply other tactics out of the real thing. I want to challenge him to go to the voters. Let him not direct us to side shows that we have defected. How can I, a whole mayor, a whole person who has stood in politics for a long, for a longer time than him, in fact, he cannot expect me to step down. I know he will step down. If we won't, the voters are going to tell him off. Thank you so and much, that Mr. Is his fear. I'm yeah. also joined here by the ODM Deputy Director of Elections, Bob Kisia. Uh, Bob Njagi, <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, you, you have just come to Kisi. Yes. What Omwando is talking about challenges of him, him being told to step down. What are the challenges you're facing here? Are you feeling that the elections will be fair? Well, thank you, Katie and Fast, for giving us this platform. Yes. I appreciate uh, your media house because in every election, we have seen you coming to the ground and giving Kenyans the true feedback. Thank you so much. Um, a quick comment is that just a few minutes ago, I had the opportunity to communicate with the party leader, Raila Molo Odinga, and I informed him of the propaganda doing rounds that uh, he has endorsed one Richard Onyonka for, for this particular seat. 
And uh, he has expressly told me that he cannot oppose an ODM candidate, and he stands with Bwana Samuel Omwando for Kitutu South, uh, Kitutu Church South MP. What we are telling our Jubilee brothers to know is that wembe ni ule ule, wembe ni ule ule. Ile wembe tuliwanyoa nayo nyacheki, ndio tumekuja kuwanyoa nayo wapi? Na sisi tunasema umuanda tialala, sindio? Umuanda tibem, umuanda tibem, umuanda tialala. Uh, thank you so much. That was the people, the candidate, a candidate from ODM and an official from, from ODM hierarchy. And from here, we, the, the IBC cleared at least seven candidates to participate in this election. And from here, we are going to go every other step to try to find them so that they can also talk on KTN Live. Back to your studio. All right. Many thanks, uh, Fred Moturi. There it is an election we're keeping an eye on on Tuesday next week.